Hello and welcome. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a bill in our new release we've called Enhanced Billing Mode. What we're going to cover is number one, settings that can affect the billable amount and layout of your bills, how to create a bill from within a matter, both fixed fee and hourly, how quotes and work in progress affect the billing process, and finally, how to send the bill to the client, either via email or print. In Enhanced Billing Mode, each time you create a billable matter, you should click on the billing icon within the matter and then go and check your matter billing options. The options screen looks something like this. Most of the options are preset from your firm defaults. However, for each matter, there are certain fields that you do need to check specifically. Number one, if you're planning to email the bill, check the email address. You can simply check the box next to the client to inherit the client's email address. Or if you have a different email address for this particular matter, you can enter it here. You should also enter any quoted amount or fee estimate that you provided to the client for the matter. This will drive a number of the automated settings within Enhanced Billing Mode. If you've given a specific discount for this matter, then you should also enter it into the billing options. To create a bill, simply go to the Billing Overview screen. This will show you all unbilled fees and expenses. Click on the green button at the bottom left of the screen to create a bill. If you've entered a quote, there will be a quick check to see if the work in progress posted to this matter so far matches the quote or not. If it doesn't, you'll be given the option to either bill the work in progress amount, the quoted amount, or both. Once you've selected that, you'll be taken to the Billing Details screen. This is one screen that shows you all the information related to this particular bill. We're going to break this down into sections and discuss it separately. So first of all, let's take a look at the panel that shows on the left, which is the charges. This is a bill summary panel and it allows you to, number one, edit the client details if necessary and make any changes to the total fees and expenses if needed. If you hadn't entered a discount before, you do have the opportunity to add a discount at this point in the process. The bill settings at the top include the accounts receivable date. This is the date that you want recorded to the general ledger when you post the bill. And this is also the date that will be used to calculate the payment due date. The bill up to date will default to the accounts receivable date, but you can set this to a different date if you wish. This date tells the system which items to include on the bill. Any items that were posted or recorded on or before this date will be included on the bill by default, but you can edit them later. The bill template is inherited from the firm settings, but if you need a specific layout for this matter, you can change it here. And same thing for payment terms. The defaults will show, but if you have a different payments terms for this particular matter, you can change it here. Then on the right hand side there are four different tabs showing different areas of the bill. The first one is fees and you can select which fees you'd like to include on this bill. You can also click on the fees to make any adjustments to the source records um, or if you've left out some items you can quickly create a new time entry on this particular tab. The next one over is expenses and in the same way you can list all the expenses and choose which ones to include edit the source records, or create a new expense at this point in time. The fee allocation is a new feature in Enhanced Billing Mode, and this allows you to track the productivity by allocating specific percentages of the bill to the people working on the matter. And the additional settings will inherit by default from what you've set up at the firm level, but if you have different text that you'd like to use for either the title description or additional notes, you can enter it here. 
And when you finish making all the changes, you can preview the bill by clicking the preview button, and that'll show you exactly how it'll be presented to the client. And then you can either save it as a draft for approval, or if you're happy to approve it at this point, you can save it and approve it by clicking the button. Once saved, the bill will appear then on the bills list, either in the draft list or in the bill production list if it's been approved. And to send out the bill, for regular mail, you can click on the PDF icon to print the bill and then just send it out via regular mail. For email, on the bills list, you'll see an email link which you can click on, which will open up a new email edit screen with the bill automatically attached. And you'll have an op opportunity at that point to edit the message before sending if you'd like to. If you're doing your billing through mass billing, then all bills will be printed and emailed automatically. And that's all there is to creating a new bill in enhanced billing mode. If you have any questions, please feel free to catch, uh, contact our support team, and they'll be more than happy uh, to get back to you with any answers. Thank you very much for watching.